Hi, I'm James Schillinglaw with Insider Travel Report. I'm here in Budapest, Hungary on the Danube and I'm on the William Wordsworth, a brand new beautiful riverboat from Riviera River Cruises. And we're going to talk a lot about this ship and more on Insider Travel Report. Now, if you haven't heard of William Wordsworth, well, it's really has been focused on the UK market, the British market. But now they're coming into the US the last year or so, and they have opportunities for your clients aboard ships like this one, the William Wordsworth, which has 166 passengers and is brand new. In fact, it's built by the same company, Scylla, that builds ships for Tauk and other brands. So. We're going to take a little tour around this beautiful ship. We're going to talk a little bit about the itineraries, the food, and all the wonderful opportunities your clients can have on this wonderful river cruise vessel. William Wordsworth has all of the accoutrements of a modern river cruise ship in Europe. There's an ample sun deck with a small pool, mini golf, and lots of tables and chairs, and comfortable deck chairs. There's also ample shade to keep cruisers out of the sun. A smoker's area is located just behind the bridge. There's a great viewing area with tables, chairs, and couches just in front of the bridge so guests can see the sights of the river as they sail up or down the Danube. In fact, the William Wordsworth spends a lot of time during the day sailing the river, a great way to relax and see the sights. Guests can also see the intricate system of massive locks on the Danube, which allows the ship to go up and down the river. The interior of the William Wordsworth features a large atrium area with a reception desk, travel desk, and small store. There's an elevator that goes to all three decks of cabins as well as to the reception area and main dining room. There's also a tea and coffee service in the atrium.
The elegant main dining room can hold the full complement of passengers with tables for two, four, and six. Guests can eat any time during the specified meal times for most meals. Breakfast and lunch are buffet with a la carte service, and dinner is a la carte. Menus usually have up to four selections and often feature regional specialties and wines and beers included. The small bistro at the stern of the ship offers lunch and dinner service with set menus for both meals. Hot dogs, hamburgers, salads, and more at lunch, and grilled meats, salads, and more for dinner, which is reservations only. The main lounge in the William Wordsworth is the center of the ship, with lots of chairs, couches, a small dance floor and piano, and a bar area near the bow. It hosts ship lectures, musical performances, and afternoon tea, which is served every afternoon. This is a British ship, after all. William Wordsworth also features a hair and nail salon offering beauty treatments, a massage room, and small fitness center with a good selection of exercise machines on the lower deck one. Staterooms and suites are good sized, well appointed, and come with windows that open up fully and French balconies. Furnishings include a queen bed, flat screen TV, small desk area, and lots of storage space. There's also a decent sized shower and single sink in the bathroom. But the key to any river cruise is the destinations and William Wordsworth is no exception. We embarked from Budapest on the first day but quickly sailed on the second day to the classic small town of Estergom in Hungary, site of a beautiful church with a massive organ on a hill above the Danube. Then we passed by other picturesque Hungarian towns before arriving in Bratislava, capital of Slovakia, with its signature castle, great old town, and modern bridge over the Danube.
Then on the fourth day, we moved on to Dernstein, the picturesque Austrian town with its church and castle, which once held the imprisoned King Richard of England. From Dernstein, we sailed up the Danube through the Wachau Valley, famed for its wines, castles, and picturesque villages, to Melk, site of the famed monastery located high above the Danube. We then sailed to Linz in Austria, from which we embarked on a tour by bus to Salzburg, the picturesque mountain city famed for its castle, great shopping, and of course, as the site of the sound of music. Then it was on to Vienna, with its central St. Stephen's Cathedral, great shopping, and lots of palaces and churches built by the Habsburgs. Beyond the palaces, of course, you can visit the Prater, one of the world's oldest amusement parks and site of the historic Ferris wheel, or Wiener Reisenrad, made famous in the classic film The Third Man. From Vienna, we sailed all the way back down the Danube back to Budapest, one of the best ports of call on the river for a full city tour, including the famed castle, parliament building, and markets, among other great sites. It's a great city to spend time in and one of the highlights of this river cruise. So there you have it, a quick tour of the William Wordsworth Riviera River Cruises entry into the Danube market. And it's a great ship, a great opportunity for your clients if they want to get another option in the ever-growing world of river cruising. I'm James Schillinglaw, and this is Insider Travel Report.